What's good with y'all YouTube, man? It's your boy D-Butto, man, and I'm bringing back another banger for y'all today, man. So, today, man, the video is going to be based on the um, the most anticipated sneakers for me of the year of this year. So, we're going to get straight into it, man. Alright, so, I got my list right here. So, the first one I'm looking forward to is the USC 3s, man. Nice colorway. It's an Air Jordan 3. And I'm a huge UNC fan, so you know I got to get those. It's just like, it's a must. It's a must cop for your boy D. Butto, man. So, I'm looking forward to those 3s dropping. So, with that being said, we're going to go ahead and check those off the list. What your boy D. Butto looking forward to this year. The second one I'm looking forward to this year is going to be the DMP 6s. I never had a DMP pack, a DMP shoe in my life. That's why I'm so excited about the shoe to drop. For one, it's black and gold. If they dropped a pack, man, oh my goodness, I would have went crazy because I really want the DMP 11s. I think the DMP 11s look better than the OG Concord 11s. And it's just because, like, the DMP 11s has the hits of gold, and it's it's nice, man. It's just, I don't know. But I, I like the DMP 11s more than the OGs. Uh, but, yeah, the DMP 11s is a must cop for me. I'm looking forward to it. It looks like they got good materials on it this year. And your buddy Butto, man, I'm excited about it. Uh, then you got the 13s, man. You got the Air Jordan 13, the Flint's. I never really been big into the 13s like that, man. When I was a kid, I used to think that was the ugliest Jordan ever. I don't know why, but as I grew up, man, I started to realize, like, it's one of the most comfortable Jordans, and you can rock them with jeans, with shorts, and it's just going to go crazy with whatever you wear with. It. And it's like, on top of that, with the flinch being brought back, like, the last time I really seen the flints like release i was like a kid and i look forward to them actually dropping the flints so i'm excited about those i'm real excited about the flints uh then another one is the fire red air jordan 5 last time those came out i think i was a junior or a senior in high school really wanted them didn't get to get them I mean, I was playing sports, didn't have a job, so I didn't get to really get them. And when they came out, it was just like, golly. That last time they dropped, they had the Jumpman on the back. This time, they will be releasing with the Nike Air on the back. And hopefully we get some good quality on them, man, because a five, as you know, is a beater. Just like threes and fours, you got the one three. Or fives in my pen. I think those are all beaters. I don't know about any other thing, but yeah, man, the fire red fives. Whew. God, I'm ready for it. I'm ready for them to come out, man. Then you got the black cat Air Jordan fours, which is an all black Jordan four. Something I look forward to again. Just an all black Jordan. I think that's why I'm really excited about it dropping. I just like all black shoes, man. I barely even got pairs of all black shoes. The only all black pair of shoes I do actually have are like the cap and gowns, but those really not all black. I got slides that's all black. <laughs> then I got some all black Pumas, but out of those, I don't have no all black shoes, man. I ain't got nothing all black for real. So I look forward to the black cats to drop. I'm excited about the black cats, man. I'm excited about this whole list. I'm listening out for y'all, really. And I'm going to really try to get my hands on most of these pairs, man. If I can't, then hopefully I can get them later on down the road. But I'm really trying to grab them things when they come out because I don't want to pay resale. Some of them won't be too bad in resale, but some of them probably will. Uh, then they said the we were told that the Chicago Jordan 1s was getting dropped again this year, but... I don't think so. I think they're going, well, I know that they are going to drop some Jordan 1s called the Bloodline 2.0s. They look like the Chicago 1s, but they're not. So, I don't know, man. I just got to wait until time comes by to 
actually see what those bloodline ones are gonna really look like because I feel like they might they might just be nice and then if they really are nice then I'm gonna really just probably grab them because it's gonna be like the closest thing to the Chicago ones I can get and I'm not paying what the Chicago ones are going for in my size absolutely not I'm not gonna do that so then the last pair that I have on my list that I know I was gonna actually try to grab for sure I don't even know why I got it on my list but it's the Travis Scott the since it's the yellow pair man and that's just because man the green pair went crazy the yellow pair is just twice as nice as the green pair and it's I know I'm not getting them but I just wanna have faith I might get them and then I might really get them bruh so I'm gonna just say I'm going after this shoe but if I don't grab them for retail I don't think I'm going for them for resale bruh I can't do that I paid resale on my uh, Cactus Jack 4's and that was the most I ever spent on a shoe in my life I'm not paying nothing like that ever again bruh that's too much at least not right now bruh when I start making more money Probably, I will probably buy some some more expensive shoes. But as of now, I can't keep doing that. I ain't got money to just dish out like that. You feel me? So, yeah, man. Um, trying to think if I left anything else off the list. Uh, yeah, the uh, the Oregon Duck Fobs, man. Those are clean too. Like anything with the Oregon Duck colorways on it is a hit. Y'all know that. Like you got the Oregon Duck foams. The um, just all the Oregon Duck colorways, man. It's crazy. You got the Oregon Sixes. It's, man. Yeah, I'm just, I got to go after the Oregon Duck Files because they colorways are so nice and it's just like, that should be a shoe you should really try to get. Like, even if you're not into shoes like that, I say go after like the Air Jordan Files and stuff. You can always go after your classics and stuff too. But if you want, I feel like the Oregon Ducks, like, after a while, if you don't get them for retail or you don't cop them from a um, retail store, like the price probably shoot up on them. I don't really know though, but yeah, that's all I got on my list. And those are most of the shoes I'm going for in 2020. So hopefully I can get most of them. If I don't, I'm going to just have to try to get them later. But I got a feeling I'm going to get all of them, man. So, major shout out to you guys, the fans, the fam. Thank you guys for supporting me through day one, man. I appreciate all the support, all the love, man. But y'all let me know, man. Y'all comment down below and let me know. Should I keep doing videos like this? Should I do videos where I talk about the shoes that's releasing each month? And just go over the shoes with you guys, man. Y'all just leave some feedback in the comment section. And just talk to your boy D-Butto, man. And we can chop this thing up. But, yeah, man. Your boy D-Butto signing off with all that being said, man. I'm out.